Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about envelopes. So envelopes are a way to add changes over time to basically any parameter in SynthMaster. Uh, by default, the volume is mapped to envelope 1. So without that, we just have basically forever. We have that forever because nothing is controlling it to like go down. So this is what an envelope looks like. It's an ADSR. Uh, and... Uh, envelope one, envelope one. This is how you map things. We'll get into that later. But uh, so basically, you have your attack, and you can see that down here. I'll just boost this. Right. So we have basically when you press a key, sound comes on. When you release a key, sound goes off. All right. Pretty simple. But what if we want to change that? So we will adjust the attack, and this will kind of give it a kind of a delay and a sweep up. And uh, with this, we can adjust the curve. Right, we can adjust it even more. Right, so now we have like a kind of a fade up, which is really cool. That is basically how you make pads and such. Right, so there's a tech and a decay. So decay is the amount, decay and sustain are relative. So I'll show you what that does. Right, so we have a bit of a transient there. And how you adjust that is by moving this over. So this ADSR is a little bit quirky, but it's actually m way more intuitive than I kind of discovered it was. Right, so you can adjust it, and you get even more of a curve here. So this would be good for, like, plucks and all that fun stuff. Right? So you're giving kind of, like, life to the sound. You can, of course, adjust the curve here. So squares are at points, and you notice that it changes down here. Really cool. Release is when you release the key, it will continue to play. Right? We have a bit of a tail there now. So all of these together will shape your sound. Right? We can drag that over, increase the release, or increase that here. A very long release. Really, really long. Let me adjust it with that. So that's pretty cool. We can do other fun stuff with with this uh, kind of system. So we're going to go to envelope two, and I want to map the filter opening and closing. So right, I wanted to do that more or less. So I'm just going to boost the gain here. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a modulation source. I'm going to go to voice. I'm going to go to ADSR envelope two. Bam, right? And I'm going to go over here. This is our modulation matrix. This is the amount. So we want it to obviously be modulated, so we'll go all the way to the right. So now it's open, so okay, what's happening now? Well, we have to change that around. And we can adjust an attack. Right. We have to move this over. We could do that, but I want to pluck. The pluck would be fun, so I'm going to, oops, move that over, and then increase the sustain a bit, and then bring that down. Right, so I'm just pulling it over. You can also sync it, and you can see. Oh, okay, here we go. adjust the amount, the curve of this to an extreme curve. Right, so you can see what it's doing now. Can I adjust an attack? Right. And if we move this all the way to the left, it does the opposite. So it's kind of like a plus or minus voltage control. Another thing I should mention is the bit depth. So this will be, right now it's really smooth and fluid. I want to do that. It's a very smooth step. It's not, well, it's not stepping at all, but as we decrease the bit depth of it, it steps down. So this is kind of like a controllable sample and hold. All right, cool. So let's 
uh, we'll start a new. We'll do the same thing, kind of. We're gonna use a multi-stage, elef or a multi-stage envelope, right? We're gonna map this to modulation source, synth, multi-stage envelope one. All right, so we have that. All right, so this can be repeated, but we're not going to repeat it for now. I want this to start at one, and I want this to end at three. All right, so we have three steps here. All right, so we have three stages, so we can add more stages. Right, we can add as many steps as we want. This black part is the steps, so we want it to match the amount of steps that we have. And we can move this around and do all sorts of fun stuff. Right, different curves. Right, multi-stage LFO. You can also have it uh, looping infinitely. Right, you can do all sorts of fun stuff that way before I irritate you. So that would be the multi-stage LFO, or the envelope, ADSR envelope, and multi-stage envelope. They're different kinds. So uh, this is more traditional, an ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release, and the uh, amplifier amount, so however much you're sending to it. And we have uh, our multi-stage here, which is loopable or not so much loopable. Drift is kind of like changes, kind of like an uh, uh, like the pitch tracking or the you know envelope tracking has gone out and it emulates uh, analog so it'll change it'll vary these by uh, degrees every time you press the different key and it adds to the effect um, and yeah all right so that would be that and we'll be back